you're watching Fugitive Red Eye, and welcome to another episode of Overanalyzing. For once, I'm doing one not too long after the previous episode, and once again, this one is going to be a Gonagai episode, because I've been in a very Gonagai mood ever since I started doing some Gonagai stuff again. I promise you that's not all I will be doing, but I do still plan to do more of it, obviously. But it won't be the only thing on my channel, and it certainly won't be the only thing in this series. That said, this episode's probably going to be looking at the similarities between three different Gonagai series, specifically their anime adaptations. And that's Gonagai's big three series, being Devilman, Cutie Honey, and Mazinger Z. One other thing I want to briefly mention is uh, that for whatever reason, big threes seem to be a big thing in Japan and just kind of Asia in general. Um, for instance, there's a big three manga, there's a big three directors. Um, if you go to Korea, there's a big three K-pop companies, although I don't really follow K-pop. Heard about that in a video someone else did talking about it, but... Uh, Point is, for whatever reason, they really like their big threes over there, and with Gonagai, his big three is Cutie Honey, Devil Man, and Mazinger Z. Mazinger Z being the most popular worldwide, Devil Man being the most influential on anime, uh, although that's debatable because Mazinger Z did kind of define mecha as a genre, and Cutie Honey defining magical girl traits quite a bit, and uh, inspiring several series that would follow. And that's really the first similarity between the three, is that all three of them were incredibly influential on anime and manga in the future. They all kind of defined their respective genres to an extent, and revolutionized several different things. Many things were inspired by Devilman, uh, particularly the manga version. The anime may be not as inspirational. The manga version of Devilman was uh, inspirational towards uh, Evangelion, uh, Berserk, Parasite, and a ton of others. If I listed everything that Devilman inspired, we'd be here all day as well. But it was heavily influential on it. Uh, Cutie Honey itself inspired Sailor Moon, it inspired others, I'm sure. Um, I don't really keep up with Magical Girl stuff, so I don't really know a lot of that. Um, although Cutie Honey itself, strictly speaking, isn't really magical because it's about androids, but, uh, it did still define a lot of Magical Girl tropes. And it has retroactively been called a Magical Girl series. Mazinger Z was the first ever mecha series to include a cockpit where the robot is piloted from, so it created the super robot genre of mecha. Um, obviously there was some mecha before that, being that there was uh, Tetsujin 28, also known as Gigantor. All three of these series were written around the same time, with Mazinger Z and Devilman both starting out in 1972. The precursor to Devilman being Demon Lord Dante was written a year prior. And Mazinger Z went on for quite a bit longer than Devilman did, and eventually got sequels. I mean, Devilman also got sequels, but it wouldn't get sequels until a little bit later. Uh, unless, of course, we include Violence Jack, which again, I personally do consider a sequel, despite what many people say. Uh, but that's a whole other topic for another day, and since it is drastically different from Devilman until the later chapters, we won't count it this time. Uh, so those people who disagree with me on that, consider yourself uh, validated for now, because I'm not including it for now, even though, in my opinion, it is very much a Devilman. Man sequel. Mazinger Z got more direct sequels to follow up directly after it, being Great Mazinger and then Grendizer. Not to mention Great Mazinger and Grendizer also had TV adaptations around the same time as their manga, whereas if we included Violence Jack, it didn't get an adaptation until the OVA trilogy in the late 80s. Uh, Cutie Honey was would get its anime adaptation in 1973, the same year its manga was written, so it was written a little bit after Mazinger Z and Devilman, but it was written alongside several other series, because Gonagai tends to do that. He tends to work at multiple series at once. Cutie Honey and Violence Jack were being written at the same time. Uh, Devilman was being written at the same time as Omori-kun, Mazinger Z, and a ton of others. Uh, he, he, he was typically writing at least five manga at once. But let's move on to another way that the three are very similar. All three of their anime adaptations were made by Toei, so they all three had very very similar styles, were all very colorful, and all three of them followed a very a very similar format, the Monster of the Week format. With Devilman, it was, you know, a different demon every week that he would fight, with some little differences here and there, but for the most part, it was pretty much that same format. Um, every now and then, you'd have something that deviated with that, like when Lala was introduced, um, but for the most part, it was just the same uh, same format of new demon every week. Uh, Cutie Honey followed the exact same format, as did Mazinger Z, with Cutie Honey having a different android every week, um, and then both of them, Cutie Honey and Devilman, had the exact same 
same anime ending where they spoilers spoilers are ahead just so you know uh but uh, in the anime versions of both cutie honey and devil man they defeat the second in command with devil man having the final villain being this character called god which is a demon that was like champion of xenon but he never fights xenon and then they say oh xenon will continue to fight devil man forever and he will co constantly battle him and his forces uh which was kind of a dumb ending in my opinion i think they should just had him fight xenon um but it left room for a sequel i suppose cutie honey did the same thing where she defeated sister jill uh and then panther zora was still out there um, however, uh, with Cutie Honey, that's actually how the manga ended as well. Cutie Honey is actually the most accurate to the manga out of the three of these, because its manga is pretty much the same as the anime, with obvious differences, but, uh, you know, with certain characters not existing or having different traits, like Naoko being replaced by Naojiro in the anime, uh, and a few others, but for the most part, they're the same. Um, you get the same exact story, more or less, out of the manga that you do from the anime, uh, with the exception being that the manga, well, it actually had nudity, the anime didn't have any, uh, and it had had a lot more lesbian undertones in, in the manga than it did in the anime, because they kind of toned it down to just Alphon in the anime. And then Mazinger Z had a different mech every week, as you'd expect that he'd fight. Uh, Mazinger Z, I feel like, is a little bit different in that some episodes tend to have a lot more continuity than others. Uh, Cutie Honey also had a little bit more continuity than Devil Man did, uh, but for the most part, uh, Mazinger Z, I feel like, had the most of it, because, you know, there would be specific episodes dedicated to introducing a new aspect to Mazinger that would later become a staple. There's several episodes that hint at Mazinger needs a way to fly, otherwise we'll never be able to fight all these mechs. And then several episodes later, they come up with the jet scrander so that Mazinger can fly. And of course, there were several times when Boss said how he wanted his own robot, which ultimately culminated into him forcing the professors to make Bo Boss Borat for him. Uh, and Boss Borat is like one of my favorite things about Mazinger, because uh, I don't know if this is a controversial opinion, but personally, Boss is my favorite Mazinger Z character, um, at least in the original series. Um, I'd say in Shin Mazinger, um, it's it's debatable. I like I like Anko Kuji, but Anko Kuji was in the manga, but not in the original anime. I really like Anko Kuji though. Uh, he's the police detective. If you're unfamiliar with who I'm talking about, but uh, I'd say in Shin Mazinger, I do like Koji a little bit more than I like him in uh, regular Mazinger. Not that not that I don't like Koji in Mazinger Z, because I do like him still quite a bit. Uh, but Boss is kind of my favorite character in Mazinger Z. Um, Mazinger Z is different from the other two in that it doesn't have the exact same ending. In fact, Mazinger Z again spoiler. At the end of Mazinger Z, Mazinger actually gets it's destroyed by Dr. Hell, uh, which leads to them building Great Mazinger and s starting the series of the same name. I haven't finished watching Mazinger Z, but I do know that that happens. Um, and Mazinger Z has kind of a weird history with its manga and anime, which I'll go into in another video at some point. But Gona Guy's Big Three series were very similar. Their animes followed the same format. And they're essentially all three kind of the same show. The protagonist fights a new villain every week, uh, has very similar special abilities. Uh, all of them have kind of their own beam. I mean, Devil Man has Devil Beam. Honey might not have a beam. Does she have a honey beam? I don't remember. Uh, she might not, actually, because she has, you know, Honey Boomerang and uh, Silver Floret, and all of them have their own jumps. It's it's kind of dumb. They just jump, and there's Devil Jump, there's Honey Jump, and there's Mazin Jump. It makes no fucking sense. Like, why would they have to call out a jump? But they do. But them calling out their attacks is another thing they all have in common. You know, Devil Beam, uh, Honey Boomerang, you know, uh, Rocket to Punchy. Uh, but Mazinger and Devil Man do have their beams, although Devil Beam is not the one that you'd think it is. The the one where he shoots lasers from the top of his head is actually called uh, Devil Arrow. Devil Beam is actually when he shoots a bunch of electricity from his body. There are inconsistencies with that, because sometimes they swap the names of Devil Beam and Devil Arrow, but typically Devil Beam is when he generates kind of electricity from his entire body. Um, Cutie Honey and Mazinger do pretty much follow the manga to an extent. Obviously, with Mazinger, the mechs are different, and it goes kind of down a different route, but it follows kind of the same idea. Uh, Cutie Honey, like I said, is very accurate to the manga for the most part, with obvious differences, but Devil Man has almost nothing to do with the manga. It's uh, very lighthearted, very superhero-y, whereas the manga is very dark, depressing, and ultra-violent. Uh, you don't really get that in the anime very much. That's how those three are similar. There are definitely more similarities, I'm sure. Obviously, they all ha share the same art style, because they are all Gona Guy. Um, and they do, you know, all contain very similar themes and attacks. I guess you could expect the creator to make similarities in his three big works, and for the same studio, Toei Animation, to have similarities between their three adaptations. Overall, they're still some of my favorite manga and animes. Um, I'd say I like Devil Man the most out of the mangas, uh, but however, I would say the 1973 Cutie Honey is my favorite of these three anime series thus far. Are. Um, Mazinger Z, uh, I love it. I love it a lot. I do like the manga better just because there's, you know, a little bit more 
edge to it almost. The manga is kind of more violent and has a little bit more consistency as what you'd see with his other stuff, but that's kind of true with all three of these, because um, the animes did tone down all three of them quite a bit. But Mazinger Z, I feel like uh, the anime isn't as good as the manga. I, I actually prefer Shin Mazinger quite a bit over regular Mazinger Z, uh, just because Shin Mazinger is somewhat more accurate to the manga, although it does combine several different versions, including Z Mazinger in, in addition to Mazinger Z. And it works in some elements from uh, Great Mazinger as well. Uh, but uh, I'd say out of that, uh, I'd, I'd just rather watch Shin Mazinger than original Mazinger Z. Although, ever since Boss Borat was introduced, I've been getting a lot more into Mazinger Z's original series because, uh, again, I really like Boss Borat because Boss is my favorite character in that original anime series. Yeah, that'll do it for today. Uh, I've rambled on enough, so I'll talk to you guys later. See you in the next overanalyzing, uh, and uh, toodles. change happening inside you yet? No, nothing. Absolutely zippo. Then somehow we fucked up.